Why is there always and drama? Shaboop, we are live. There will always be drama. There always. will always be drama. Okay. Always. Kate, what are we doing? Uh hello. We are oh. discussing we are discussing the Arbor, aka the first twenty-five episodes of the Palm and the Fist campaign. Uh Ooh. welcome. Yes. Uh before we jump into it, uh Gab, we're so happy you're here. We missed you last time. Uh, last time we talked about uh, character inspirations, and so we would love to know uh, what your inspiration was for her, how she came to be. Oh my gosh. Well, hello, chat. Welcome, everybody. <gasps> we love you hello. all. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I, totally gonna... I totally wasn't calling chat a dickhead like 10 minutes ago. He totally <laughs> called you guys a dickhead. Gaslight, 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 gaslight. So I, 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 um, I was struggling to like get, get chat oriented with the... Um, uh, with, with, the, with the paper backdrop, but we love everybody in chat. Even though know, the, the chat plugin might not work all the time, we love everybody in chat. <laughs> okay. Okay, we but yes, Gal. Chat. Oh my gosh. Where do I be? I, I just remember Drew sent out a thing of the palm and the fist and was like, all right, so here's some ideas. And then mostly, I think I looked at the map and I was like, what's cool? And then the thing that popped out to me the most was like, the fury that's always like moving around and whatnot. Mm. So I pretty much, I and I, I pretty much went up to Drew and I was like, I don't really, I'm just gonna give you my character and you make up what you want to do with it. Um, and I knew when we played our last campaign, I was a bard and I loved being a bard. But the problem was, I felt like there wasn't a lot of like attacking spells. It was mostly mm. like. Rule like role play or like you know trying to help other people where I, or like distractions and whatnot where this was I was like I want somebody who's more powerful who can like do damage and whatnot so that's why I went with the sorcerer um my next whatever next campaign I'm a part of will not be magic related at all I've decided I've <laughs> hell yeah oh it's a lot <laughs> um um what else Hers definitely grown since we started this campaign. Um, yeah. Hers started nonverbal, and you realize quickly you can't interact with people if you're nonverbal. So. I forgot. I forgot that she started nonverbal. <laughs> I remember that. She was be like, sup. Yep. It was just one word things, and you realize yeah. really quickly how old that gets. Um, and we, mo like, we played, like, every few months anyway. Yeah. I feel like in the beginning, mm -hmm. so it just kind of, like... It just kind of disappeared that whole nonverbal aspect and then also like her is supposed to like develop these skills over time and that's kind of like been wishy-washy and it's just anyway inspiration the storm a lot of fun i wanted to just have a fun character i wanted drew to like just go off the rails with whatever drew has planned for her and you know it's been it's been fun so far yeah you gotta go back to the fury and get that bill in gold Gotta get that bill and gold. Gotta get that bill and gold. Exactly. Yeah, no, her was a lot of fun to design. Um, like along the, because there, the, the, if if you're a DM and you hate the idea of a character going, I have no backstory. I fully understand that. I personally loved it because in the campaign, because like in my first ever campaign, uh, Moss's character, um, they, like, and this was just due to like it was a D and D game that we didn't know was gonna last that long, and so Moss very like was very open and just said like, I didn't put a lot of work into this character's backstory. If you want to do anything with it go right ahead but like and, and i was not offended at all i didn't know what i was doing but then like i made a whole backstory uh for uh for doug and uh for that character which i which I, it seems like everybody re like uh received pretty yeah. well and so well, was, what's up yeah well doug i'll keep this less than two minutes but doug also because it was your first time running a D, &D game i didn't want to burden you with a super in-depth or like super heavy backstory yeah i wanted i wanted him to be super tied into your story so i was like you can come up with a backstory for him or not oh. at all that's totally fine for you um but also doug was a character i made day of first session where i went i'm a human wizard and my name is doug <laughs> Cra yeah. crazy that's crazy it, it's crazy that he has now evolved into an npc in this game yeah. <laughs> that's crazy yeah uh, and so, and so, with her, it was a very unique challenge for me, where I was basically was like, okay, how do I do another 
like like mysterious backstory character but not retread any ground that i did with doug and like the and the, the main thing i did i was like oh what if she has people looking for her like like like, like what if wait, it wasn't like previous life and now here what if it's all intertwined together which, which uh opened a whole lot of doors uh then rahi and the duke and all that so yeah Fun, fun, Which fun. has been a lot of fun to play through too, because you're just kind of like surprised. You could like, I, I'm easily surprised that like any moment you're like, oh, this person knows you, and you're like, what? This person knows wow. me? How? And then you're <gasps> trying to figure it out, and it's, it's fun. It's the fun. amount of fear when <laughs> Kenneth Ward said Charlotte, I just saw everyone's faces fucking drop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh god! It's oh, like, who is Charlotte? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah. It's Shannon. It's Shannon. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounded really crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. that's. I don't know who you're <laughs> thinking about, but it's not me. This dude's fucking making this girl cry at a party, guys. Fucking come get it. <laughs> Boo, party foul. Boo. And I'm like, uh, just to wrap things up on her before we start talking about the arbor, very excited for things planned ahead. I think, you know, the arbor was such. I don't know for at least for her very past oriented where her mm -hmm. kind of needs to start looking like forward and like trying to be like who am I now sort of thing mm -hmm. rather than like focusing on everything prior to that so oh yeah, yeah. very exciting interesting because I'll, I'll give a little bit of like a hint of things to come maybe like, like a little bit of a spoiler the uh, gab you're 100 percent right and like the arbor was basically constructed it helped me tell the story of like having hers past almost all of it be revealed in the arbor like there's still some stuff to be revealed here and there but i'll be honest with you most of it is like the main building blocks is done L like in terms of your past you know probably about 90 percent of it but going forward i have plans now because like, gab and i uh, were able to talk about this to have her maybe not not necessarily fall into like a leadership role because again i'm not going to tell gab how to fucking play her but there's a possibility that like if her goes down the route of wanting to be a leader i'm going to be presenting like moral quandaries or like certain situations mm -hmm. where it's like her will need to make decisions that will be like you know you know just like uh, with all those people determine who she is personality wise morality wise like like where do you like so it's gonna be instead of finding out who she was before it's gonna be forging a path forward and finding out what she would do in in this life now so it's gonna be a lot of fun so get excited mm -hmm. so cool yeah. so exciting and, yeah and gab you mentioned wanting to be a hard hit, hard hitter i think you've probably first probably done the most damage this campaign mm -hmm. yeah yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. I, a so, lot of, and like, there's a lot of spells where it's not yeah. attack focused, but I've been very That's meticulous it. when picking spells because I want them to be once weather or like yeah. nature yeah. oriented. Here's the, here's the thing. I don't, I don't know if you're like, like, like damage wise, but what her is so good at is ha like you pick your spell like the banishment spell on um, yeah is such, like, you are such like she like when people think of like swiss army knives or like you know the phrase jack of all trades master of none whatever um but her is a swiss army knife in the sense that all of these blades are super sharp <laughs> yeah. and also mm -hmm. will fuck you up at any point and so and like in like i think she's a heavy hitter in a much more interesting way than just like you know oh 18 mm -hmm. damage here 20 it's like here's how i fundamentally change the battlefield with this with this maneuver yeah so. yeah oh, for and real. i and i think besides mage armor and shield um i got the disguise self tattoo so that doesn't really count um banishment mm -hmm. is the first i mean I have Misty Step too, but you could argue like, ah, oh, it's kind of whatever. Banishment mm -hmm. really is the first non-weather related spell that I picked up. So it's just kind of like, I think like more foreshadowing of like her developing into who she is now oh, sort yeah. of thing. So absolutely. Yeah, cool. Hell yeah. It's it's very it's similar so to awesome. like uh and, and Kate, I don't think this is a spoiler, um, where you and I talked about Olive and Olive spell lists and like yes. uh we talked like that one third level spell that you now have. Is that, can I say it? Yes. No. 
I can't say it. Okay. Well, I mean, we, I mean, y'all can look at my character sheets. You can see, but I haven't revealed it. We, uh, I like to reveal it in game. Okay, no problem. We uh, talked about it, and, I, and I was like, I'm doing nothing. Don't look. Uh, and, and I was, I and I was like, reflection. nope. Nobody say it in this. Nobody say it. Nobody say it. If you Got see it. it, you can't say it. Um, but I was like, but we were we were on a walk, we and I was like, background. oh, like here's a cool way of like flavoring this to be like water and stuff like that. And Kate said to me, please don't do that. And I was like, oh, super, like like interesting. Like yeah, no problem. But like why? And she went, I want. Olive to start moving away from having water-based spells as a way of like basically breaking away from like the Terraborg tradition of water-based magic. And I was like, that's really cool because it'd be the first Terraborg of all the kids to not have spells that draw from a physical source of water. So I'm very excited to see how that oh, yeah. plays out. And I think that I makes love, sense yeah. for Olive too. Oh yeah. 100%. Yeah, because when I first picked her spells, I was like, oh, she's so scared of her. She, she doesn't even use her magic. So the spells I'm going to pick like are like non like no non damage. If they do damage, it's not a lot like uh, and like and yeah, like kind of like for her trying to find like what like water based spells kind of like fly under the radar. I'm like, yep, I'm a water sorcerer. Nothing to see here. Mm, <laughs> uh, and then we got to the arbor. It's like, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> we're balling. We're balling. Hey, motherfuckers, you're the one to eat my fingers. I cannot be passive anymore. Yeah, because yep. you have um. Oh my gosh, what's the spell you use to hold? Uh, uh oh, Maximilian's yeah. Earth and Grasp. Grasp. Yeah, yeah. But I had. I think I had that from the beginning of of the game. Oh, you did. I think. I think I had that in the well. Maybe. Yeah, you did. Use it on Cinta. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You're right. Yeah. That monkey bitch. When I get my when hands. When I get my hands. When I get on my that hands. Big monkey <laughs> bitch. Bitch. Uh, but speaking of ballin', uh, there was a cool thing that we did uh, before going to the arbor uh, that Drew had. Us. Drew, Drew gave us DM homework uh, and put in a little writing exercise uh, where we everyone got to design uh, elements of the arbor. Uh, Drew, if you want to talk about that a little bit while I find the document from the writing exercise. Yes, um, so very quickly going over it. The Arbor was the, cause I've designed cities for D&D before, but they always just felt like big villages in the way of like, there was an inn, there was a shop, and then there was like an important location and not really much else happened outside of like just those locations there. And so the Arbor was the first city that I ever made where it's like, oh, they're gonna be spending fucking time here. Like this is, this has to feel like it, it can't it can't just be a collection of buildings behind a wall. This has to feel like it naturally grew based upon the culture here. But then I also thought back to like my own experiences playing D&D. And I was like, there would be nothing that would make me more fucking miserable than if I was, if we went to a city in D&D &D and somebody handed me a Google Doc that was 12 pages long that contained, it's like, if you get handed a brochure in New York and it talks about every single district for like hundreds of words, like, okay, no. And so what I did was I went like, so I had to design the general um, districts of like Ubhav and Kipyup and Capshore and Live and Lean and like places like that. But then I went to make people more invested in the world i i asked everybody if they didn't want to they didn't have to but i said hey if you would like to and like make this world a bit of a, a bit of yourself please take one of these districts that i made and create a building i don't care what it, it can be a shop it can be a, it can be a merchant stand it can be like a main like like a hub of activity please design a location that fits with the theme of these districts and so uh kate's bringing it up uh, of who did what yeah, so actually what the 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 prompt was, it was uh dressed to choose a set of keywords uh and create an armory, shop, tavern, inn, or an establishment that combines some, if not all, with at least one NPC running it, or create a gang, faction, collection of thieves, etc., complete with a gimmick and an NPC leading them. Uh so there were six uh were uh six writing prompts uh for words um look at the list uh first here uh oppressive hellish fearful peaceful is what gab selected gab would you tell us uh where you went with that and what you created okay let's first <laughs> i did not know how much work people were putting in for their places okay <laughs> so i threw like three ideas at dream we're like here's some very basic ideas However, if I knew people were gonna like create characters, create the name, create all this shit, holy crap, I would put in a lot more effort. But I think I drew, drew like three or four ideas and like, 
it wasn't my best work and I apologize. But uh, um No. I Lies. Hope, I I guess like I can't sort of came up with the idea of the triple F more so not the fear aspect but more so like ingesting something that did s something to people like maybe like a hallucinogenic or like uh mm -hmm. It made people act out a certain way. So that was just kind of one of the ideas I threw at Drew. And then Drew said, here's the Triple F Tavern. Enjoy. And you're like, well, that wasn't even close to what I said. You are a brilliant mind. And I, you're awesome. You uh, know? No, no, no. Okay. Well, well, first of all, in no way was I insinuating that people had to do an extreme amount of work. Like, you know, n not everybody has the time or just like the, the mental capacity yeah. to like be like, oh, here's a 10 page Google Doc. Have fun. Like, you know, like, you know, it's just not for everybody. But um, yeah, uh, the Triple F Tavern was wonderful. And it was a great. And that was the thing. The, the jumping off point that you gave me was more than enough and i really do appreciate that because the triple f tavern is fucking memorable so yeah so it was great it was fun that was a lot of fun yeah and if you never would have gotten the triple f tavern <laughs> then you never would have gotten the biscuits and you never would have bonded with rahi so true i would have never forced that heard the biscuits exactly <laughs> you, you never would have learned that she's your ex or exes. Actually, we would have, because the next one was divorce court. Yes. So, like, right. <laughs> yes. know, like, we would have. Well, we... <laughs> right, because Rahi was like, get out to talk to my lawyers, which well, is to my be... fist. <laughs> to be <laughs> fair, going back to the Triple F Tavern, my first initial thought when I picked up the biscuits was, oh, I'm going to force feed this to Rahi. And I'm very glad I told Drew ahead of time. I told Drew ahead of time, because <laughs> at did? first, I wasn't going to tell <laughs> Drew. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell him that I was going to force feed it to Rahi. So, like, I think after that session, I texted you. I was like, I'm going to force feed these biscuits to Rahi. And you're like, oh. Uh, so, Gav, if you, if you did, I fully forgot. Because when you did that, my pants were fully down. I was just making no, shit. No, 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 no. The, not, the not taking the biscuits. The Rahi dream and the fearful state. I told you that ahead of time, I thought. And then you planned it. No, uh, well, okay, no. So the, so the Rahi dream, I did plan. Abs I had to. But you do, but I did not have that planned in advance. You giving that biscuit to Rahi was, to me, by my knowledge, fully off the cuff, and I did not expect it at all. Oh, so. I thought I told you. I bet. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to word search I, I literally probably told you. I'm so sorry. No, literally. Stop. Up. Gab, you in the yes. in our Game of Thrones <laughs> campaign, you played a bard, and that bard has changed the course of the game like three times. And in this Absolutely. game, you said you're not playing a bard or you're playing a sorcerer, and you still fucking change the course of the game. It's just what you're good at, and I appreciate it. <laughs> so, Gab, so you are, you are like, listen, you are a bad, D the bane of a bad DM's existence. Exactly. And the, mm -hmm. the crown jewel in a good DM's crown. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Never change. We never change. You uh, we like, never want you to change. But, but really quickly, the um, way in which your brain works. Sometimes I want to <laughs> bottle up and sell. <laughs> I, want, I want to summon wind to have a purple rain of uh, of, of petals come down. Purple rain, purple uh, rain. And uh, very quickly, um, uh, to anybody that is in chat or watching, um, hop, hop in chat, hop in the comments, and give Darby a lot of love. Darby was feeling a bit under the weather, so sadly could not join us. Uh, but very quickly, uh, because we were mentioning the things that people designed, uh, Gab, you mentioned uh, someone mentioned. You mentioned divorce court. Um, what were Darby's mm -hmm. prompts, uh, Kate? Uh, Darby's prompts were uh, cobbled together, ramshackle, populated, chaotic. Yes. Uh, so Darby chose the live and lean prompt. Um, and was the maker of Brigand's Bench, which was the only, like, it was like a court inside of, uh, of Live and Lean, and it was, and I was so fucking impressed by it, because Darby did some research and found out that, like, it, it's a real thing that, like, happened in history, where captains were only ever in charge of their ships based on like a democratic vote or democratic process and if at any point like it was in their contracts that if the if the crewmen were unsatisfied by the captain they could vote to oust the captain and elect a new one and so darby mm. took that and was like oh well, like given the arbor is based upon rules of a ship it would make sense if there was some kind of trial process inside of these districts and so um darby developed um 
JJ, um, uh, who whose uh, abbreviation it stands for Judge and Jury, which I loved a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Developed all the NPCs that kind of like helped out there, and uh, that was one of Rahi's favors uh, for Diverse Court, uh, where where they settle like when pirate marriages. Obviously, they're they're pirates. Most relationships don't work out that well, and to settle <laughs> uh, to settle debts or to settle disagreements, you go there, and the trial is just beating the shit out of each other usually. So that's uh, so Darby, excellent job, wonderful. That was so fun, and there was a um, a Kenku uh, stenographer, right? Yes, yes, Buttons? yes. yes. Buttons, Buttons yeah. yes. That was really cute. That was fun. Uh, then, Moss, you didn't put your name next to one. <laughs> talk. <laughs> but why don't you talk about the Aphrodite Temple? Uh, why don't you talk about it? Um, why don't you talk about it? <laughs> what came first? Did Hathor come first or did the temple come first? Temple came first and then you made Hathor as a response to that. Right, oh. uh, cause I, this thought, like Drew, I think this stems from the fact that Drew was talking about, cause Drew got like a special interest for a hot minute there about um the pirate city, what was it called? Nassau. Nassau, like the real one and how it like functioned for 30 years, but then syphilis essentially wiped the population out. Yep, that, that's out. Nassau, yep. <laughs> Um, and so I was like, okay, you want a city that functions, you're gonna need some basic hygiene yes. and some healers. And so in this deeply magical place, like, and wildly, like, if, if, if the continents were like classes, the palm of fist would be wild magic sorcerer, hands mm -hmm. down, yep. hands down. Um, uh, Frijan would most likely be a paladin. And um, yeah, that Zombie tracks. Zamaifu would either be a ranger or a rogue. I, I mean, Zamaifu would be a samurai fighter. <laughs> that yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. tracks. <laughs> Absolutely. And then who would Horcry? Horcry, uh, Horcry would also be a wild magic sorcerer. <laughs> no, Horcry is someone <laughs> like making a sheet for the first one. time and getting everything wrong. <laughs> so, or like an artificer yeah. or something, too. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Horcry would be artificer. Yeah. Um, but, um, and so I was like, I will develop um, a healing place. And I was like, this idea of, you know, pirates aren't going to pray to the goddess of civilization. Are you kidding me? You know, but like, what are the, what are the, the tenants of free pirates, you know? And I was like, well, a thing that would be popular there would be the goddess of love, obviously. And so um, this idea, and this is just my little, <laughs> what I like to do of this idea of like, they'll have sex ed, they'll have a place for sex workers, <laughs> the, it'll also be, I think it originally started as like, kind of more like a brothel than like a healing place. Yeah. And then it turned more so into, and then I was like, but then Drew was like, you gotta, you gotta give me a solution for the syphilis, dude. You gotta give me, <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta help me with this. And gotta so, give me a cure for syphilis, man. <laughs> yep. And so, yes, and uh, the way in which it was designed, it was designed to be a place of like healing, but also education, um, because um, in this place where most Bless people you. can't read, um, it, I, education is oral; it's passed down by word of mouth mm -hmm. so yeah yeah passed down by word of mouth you say hey oral they do have those classes too there kate thanks for asking <laughs> yeah. and when you find that letter stay on that <laughs> letter <laughs> there's an explosion hey, at the envelope uh, factory <laughs> <laughs> a world of flats <laughs> so and and also it was it was some cut content but because I I thought of this and I was like oh the cycle march is way fucking cooler um it was going to be called the tricks of the six um that was going to be a bar crawl that was going to go to each of the districts um and so it was going to go like so it would go you start it like at the main uh like entrance to the arbor from Ancraft and then it would take you to Kip Yup take you to the Aphrodite temple they'd check you out for diseases and that's where the tour ends because they don't <laughs> because they, because they, because they would I need. remember this. Uh, and and the and the reason is because like the the main thing that killed Nassau was disease, and so it was yeah. like as soon as they verify that nobody coming in has the pox, they don't give a shit where you go from there. <laughs> like they just. Yeah. They... Oh That's yes. So good. So oh, good. and and the idea that like Hawthor, I don't know if we talked about this. Hawthor was supposed to be a replacement for Rhyme before Mud was yeah. in, came up with. 
Oh. It was wild. Wow, that would have been nice. <laughs> we would have had a cleric. <laughs> you would have had the best therapist ever. Yes. <laughs> My oh. apologies for throwing the cleric off the boat. I'm That's really so sorry about that. That's fucking funny. <laughs> the only it's character fine. that has revivify it drowned. We're committed. No <laughs> clerics. No clerics no in the party. Clerics. They wouldn't have let the they wouldn't let the pup on. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I mean, you were bringing the dog on anyways. The dog was good on like, anyway, I'm, but I'm, I appreciate the, the, the doubling yeah. down. With how well, yeah. loyal Otto is, I'm so, like, in my mind, it's like, if it, if it were a, a context in which it was a battle, he would have cut your fucking head off. But the fact that you did it in peacetime, in such a stressful situation, he was like, she's got balls, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna start I, killing people for no reason. It's so <laughs> funny. But yeah, Hathor was, because I was not happy with, rhyme and uh, we talked about this i think the last episode right mm -hmm. um, a little bit yeah but i wasn't happy with rhyme and so um hathor was my solution hathor was originally i think her connection with higgy her connection with higgy was early early on yes like, that was like one of the I first made, character uh, details yeah i made <laughs> i made her as somebody to replace rhyme um as you can tell, she's my most well-adjusted PC. <laughs> well... Meant to replace my most unwell-adjusted PC. <laughs> and so... She's the best well-adjusted one we have. Yeah, yeah. She's, not, she's not well adjusted. I would That's why I say. said the most. She's well getting accosted yeah. by yeah. fucking demons. <laughs> yeah. We all have our problems. Oh. We all have our problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Damn. Um, yeah. And so the temple was like, I wanted, I wanted to create a character who is like, like, I just thought it was really interesting. This love temple and this idea of like, what, like, what is its tenants? What is this place about? And like, I like, I think the idea of like love and like Aphrodite's kind of love, especially goes really, really well with this very freedom or death kind of place. Mm -hmm. And so. I just think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it fits like a glove. And honestly, with all the shit that we're getting into with like Yasa and Talantis and like the Delilah's whole story, it really wouldn't feel like the arbor if the Aphrodite temple wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. Uh, so, so true. Good. The arbor would, I think, be a much darker place without the arbor. Yeah, absolutely. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, Kate, Very what's next? Nice. Yeah. Um, I can talk or you can talk. Uh, you, uh, oh my god, talk! I love hearing you talk. Okay. Uh, so, so my the prompt I chose. I, mean, I think most of I might have chose the same prompts, but my words were healing, diverse, religious, sexual. Um, yeah. That, so that's what that's what I chose. I just put my name on it. What did you make? <laughs> Dumb bitch. Me. Finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so from that uh, came the tiger's eye. Um, yes, I don't. I'm like I'm looking at the document I wrote for it. Um, I don't remember where the inspiration came from, but I think kind of like along the same lines as the Aphrodite Temple, where like you know, so much of pirate history is so gross and so yep. dirty. Yep. And I was like, I want to put something nice. Like <laughs> it's a little bit gentrification, but also, but also wow. like it's the <laughs> only. It's they the only smell. nice thing they have. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's, it's all we have. have. It's, it's all we have. have. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a combination of like clean, but also like LA vegan, like gluten for free uh, type millennial, like kale salad stuff. Um, oh so, uh, so yeah, so like. Yeah, the Tiger's Eye is a tavern, uh, an inn. Um, it was designed to be a brothel, but no one was horny enough. That's okay. Sometimes it, sometimes it happens. The offer was well, there. Yep. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's yeah. The thing. It was so deeply tied to your family that it would have at least... No, it wasn't. It, no, it wasn't. What? Like, no, it wasn't. The Tiger's Eye? 
I'm sorry. You think of the triple S? The triple S, triple S. Can you imagine the triple S with a brothel? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hello, I'm Olive's dad. Like... Does anyone want to have sex with me for money? <laughs> <laughs> Please, we gotta make rent. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Duke working for tips would be like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god. Now I know, now we know why he made so much money. <laughs> oh yeah, well the Duke hooked up with Pearl, but we never have to talk about that again, so... No, yeah. What? Because remember the Duke, we gave the Duke a job at the Triple S? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he I don't... hooked up with Pearl? Sorry, that yeah. just landed. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know when, if that was ever hint hinted at. The, the Duke's uh, charisma is the highest stat he has, and he's a fighter. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, like, I was going, like, also, like, holistic. So, like, uh, one of, like, there were, there were palm readings we did. Um... There were like uh, gemstones uh, associated with different, um, you know, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, there are uh, gems for health, wealth, and love. Um, did a little research into that. And, you know, ast astrology was also a big, a big uh, uh, motivator in the design. Um, yeah, and, and I think uh, it, the tiger's eye came in at a good time where we needed relaxation. Yes, <laughs> in the oh in the campaign. Uh, so I was I was very happy to provide that. Um, uh, just, because that yeah. was was that right after uh, the cowrie injection and the start yes. of the parade. It was before divorce court. Uh, that was when her yeah, ran yeah, like the, five miles. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was after. It was after the fear biscuits, but before. Yes. Divorce yes, court. yes. 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 But was yes. it? But where in the timeline was the cowrie and start of the parade? That was that was after Arthur's exorcism because we had basically had a bing bang boo. We lost Arthur, we lost Rhyme, yeah, Cowrie got yeah. injected, yep. and then Mud yep. came in. Because, it was a boom 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 boom. It was, boom, boom, boom. It was it divorce. Sack of shit. It was divorce <laughs> court, full moon festival, Ophia, in yes. um uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, mean, and then, yeah. uh, yeah, then divorce court. Uh, oh wait, I think I have the Google. No, board. yeah, Fulmin Festival, doing? Bacon for Gold, <laughs> Ophia. Oh my gosh, the Bacon for Gold. No sleep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no sleep. Uh, oh yeah, then the Aqueduct, and you, then you Battle guys of the had Barts. the craziest fucking four days of all time. <laughs> like, absolutely, absolutely. Truly. Uh, but yeah, and then our. Go ahead. Oh no! It's, no, I was gonna I'm, talk about. I'm, I'm, uh, listen, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Here's the. Here's listen. Here's the other thing. The mm -hmm. with, without. I need to. Sorry. Without. <laughs> without that tavern, we would not have the iconic line. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> when when one of the, her, Don't one of the waiters that. winked at her. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you broke about that. through. It was because it was, it was, it was so a brothel, good. and I was like, obviously so they're gonna good. flirt with people. It's how they make their money. And Gab, you so like, and I know it wasn't you in real life. You so hard shut me down for a brief moment. I was like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't know. What to do. And then I think afterwards, I think afterwards, I was like, oh, sorry, I'm going through a nasty divorce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. It's so, so funny. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, um, uh, we, we uh, sadly, uh, so he, he is no longer here, but yes. Nico also had a design. Yes, his yes. prompt was knowledge, bounties, understanding, resolution, which became the PPVC. The PPVC. Phoebe Goldtooth Squall was his invention, uh, which was so That's which, crazy. Which, honestly, Nico, salutes to you. Incredible fucking job with Phoebe. Um, you made such Love an her. NPC that was so Nasty. incredibly addictive that I had to tie her into a story to bring her back again. Um, like Phoebe is so fun. Well, yeah, and, and like, cause also I, cause the Palm of the Fist was inspired based upon um, uh, four wins. You know, Dura, Doug, Otto, uh, Cade, all those people. Those were like, you know, first campaign kind of stuff. And I was like, mm -hmm. I really want to bring them in, but how do I bring them in in a way that isn't? Because like, 
this has to work for an audience, like, you know, a small audience, yeah. but an audience still. And I was like, how do I make this work in a way that doesn't just feel like fan service to people who don't know them? Uh, and so I was like, oh, it's Phoebe, Phoebe, because because I never explored how Otto lost his leg in the first campaign. And I was like, oh, Phoebe was the one who took off Otto's leg. They are divorced and Otto likes elemental women. And so, like, you know, they want to kill each other. So it made a lot of sense. And also, she's, it was a, just a lot of fucking fun. I like Phoebe a lot. Nikki did a great job. So. Yeah, the PPVC was actually where uh, the Arbor arc started. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because her, had her a and the Duke. Yep. Yes. Yeah, her and the Duke were taken in and held pre prisoner? No, because no, uh, Darb's character, uh, Kauri. I, wow, yeah. Darb's character. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, haven't oh. been with Kauri for <laughs> over two years. <laughs> Um, but Kauri got teleported by the Duke yeah. into the right, right, and, jumped out and then the jumped window. out the window. Yeah. Yep. Yes, they were on a butt, yep. a boat. <laughs> right. Yes, and then and then I think did her and the Duke go out the window too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The stairs. I gave them the option, oh, okay. and her like looked at it, looked at the stairs, and then it hard cut to her walking down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> my I, my so biggest good. regret is not doing an Arcana check on the handcuffs yeah. that Phoebe put on us. That was probably God. That would have saved us so much. <laughs> I think Rhyme was going to, and then got ye yeeted or I, I played... Well, we just all failed it. I, I have <laughs> no idea. It's I entirely possible. I played Phoebe so intimidating that I made the players forget about a check that would have saved them a lot of money. Like, it was it was like, even if it's not magical, this one will fucking kill you. <laughs> like, don't listen, fuck with Phoebe. Listen, it would have saved us money, but we also would have died because she, we would have been walking around the arbor with the debt still to be You could have never gone to Simpleton again again nope Again, and we now we have an ally arbor. street street yeah, yeah. Exactly. although i know exactly. if if we hadn't paid that she would not have let our right. group who went underground escape yep like, mm -hmm. it she all killed came all back. the tunnels it's so good Scuttler. i wouldn't call us i wouldn't call us allies i feel like we're on a neutral ground yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Acquaintances. Yes. She's for We're sure going to want you guys to kill Otto. For sure. Ooh. We Sorry, girly. We can't do that. You are the only, you are the, mo you're the, you are the best trained and most expendable soldiers I have. Please go Ooh. kill Otto. <laughs> Do it yourself, girly. Yeah. <laughs> She's been trying. Every time Otto comes to the arbor, she sends like 40 guys to get it done, <laughs> and he always somehow escapes. That's so good. Like, uh, the arbor yeah, Otto that's... is just one giant game of tag that he always wins. God you gotta ask damn. him what he did. You gotta ask him what he did. Oh, he burned her ship. That was confirmed. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Well, and the, there, there's well, more. That was the, that was their nasty divorce, where he got yes. her, he burned her ship and she got his leg. So yes, right, yes. Uh, but yeah, all those lovely uh, creations by the players and brought to life by Drew, those were all stops on Rahi's treasure hunt in the arbor, mm -hmm. uh, which was like the main first part of the arbor. I feel like is what we did. Mm -hmm. um, Right, we started the PPVC, then Emmons Tower. Uh, was that on her? Was that just something no. we did, or was, no, was so that, that, was, that was something oh. you just did, did because uh, they tried to burn down the triple S? I right. Think that, was the PPVC part of Rahi's treasure hunt, or is that how we heard about it? Oh, uh, PPVC was part started. of Rahi's treasure hunt. Yes. Okay. That's where you got like the treasure hunt, I think. Yeah. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah, and then. Right, completely un unrelated. Uh, the triple F, uh, not triple F, triple S tavern got arsoned. Yep. Um, by Emmons guys, and we were like, "Well, gotta gotta kill him." Yep. Um. But then, <laughs> and, then Brian, and and Brian jumped out. How many? Yes. Stories? Six stories. <laughs> Six stories. Just, me and the Duke eating our churros. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching like it's the Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, yeah, because uh yeah, her wrangled the Duke into <laughs> her debt with Phoebe <laughs> somehow. That was good. Um that was great. Yeah, and then right, then we went to the 
the Aphrodite temple to get Arthur exercised, and then he Slash he fucking bailed on us. <laughs> Had to go save his friend. I've been practicing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super cool. Very excited for that. Um, yeah, get ready for Barnum and Eden. When Barnum and Eden and Arthur join the squad, you guys are gonna be fucking unstoppable. Like, cause you're, then you're gonna have Otto and the whole Four Winds crew and Arthur and Eden uh, and uh, Barnum, which is fucking nuts. That's we, the squad. And Rahi and the Duke. And Rahi and the Duke. Totally, totally dismantle the fist. Can't wait. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah! New world order. <laughs> new world order. <laughs> I wouldn't say saved. I'd say <laughs> under new management. <laughs> Her goes full uh, evil and is like, guys, we've liberated the fist. No, no, nobody go anywhere. Not. <laughs> Just... <laughs> not. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> But yeah, oh, and then, right, um, yeah, Rahi was actually, I forgot that we met Rahi in the well before we started streaming. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then she came back in for this treasure hunt, uh, and we had directions to go to the Triple F Tavern, but her was like, nah, bitch, meet me in the streets, <laughs> let's talk <Yep>. this out. <laughs> and then, Drew, what happened? <laughs> um... God, uh, it's so- when they, when, the, when, when they met in the streets, a little lightning bolt got thrown at her. Yes, 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 yes. Because you guys, because you guys were going to go to the Triple F, uh, and then you were like, wait a minute, how does Rahi know if we're getting to these locations? And then you guys were right. like, let's just look around. And then you just saw her standing in a tree, like 200 <laughs> feet away. Yeah, and Rahi, yeah. And like, I think the Arbor, 25 episodes was good for the arbor. I think the fist is going to be less than that or if or if it's going to be equal or more than that, it's going to be better structured cuz I look at certain things in the arbor and I'm like, we didn't need to have 25 episodes for all of that. Like, well, at least, yeah. Yeah, sorry, you got. It. No, cuz I I was, I was just like there were definitely cuz one thing that I have learned doing this as much as I have is like Pacing is important, not just for recording, but also because like it keeps the momentum of the game up. Because like, if there are sessions that are just role play, that's awesome. We still have to keep pushing the ball up the hill. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So yeah. Well, balls rolling up. A, I don't think balls balls rolling. <laughs> balls rolling up. Think, I don't think we'll spend as long in the fist just because it'll objectively suck more yeah. than the arbor. Like, not in the sense that it, it'll be unfun, but in the sense of like, it fucking sucks here, yeah. dude. It Everyone's smells like sad. shit. Everyone's angry, sad, or violent, and... <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good way of looking at it, honestly. Like, where would you want to spend more time? The arbor or the fist? The arbor is like a slightly a super unregulated party beach uh, yeah. versus North oh, yeah. Korea. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, and, that's the, and and at least and just talk about the fist just a little bit. Um the thing that I'm very and, and I'm kind of doing the same thing with like you guys right now with the gravity factor. My intention now that you guys like you know the world, you know what you're trying to do. I want to take the the blinders off or I want to take like the training wheels off and give you guys playgrounds where you can go as crazy as you want. Like cuz the arbor was great of like learning all these stories the fist you, there are some important people some important stuff to do there but in a society where largely most of the people are assholes or slavers it's like oh we don't need to be as cautious regarding property damage or loss of life and so the fist in my mind like, well, like what i'm cooking up for it is it's going to be bombastic set pieces of just destruction because why feel bad about it like it's a slaver city so <laughs> Bombastic True. side eye. Bombastic <laughs> side eye. So, yeah. Criminal offensive Criminal side offensive. eye. Criminal offensive. Yes. So yeah, so after, so after, I think her lost like maybe like half her hit points from that one I <laughs> little I encounter. Almost I think I almost died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we went to the fear, we went to the Triple F Tavern. Uh, we got some biscuits. We um, found out we're all connected. Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we came, we all came back to a uh, ship in the storm. Yes. 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 That yes. That, vi that vision. Yeah. Um, oh, right. And obviously, uh, Mud joined the group uh, before then uh, during the cycle march. 
Was Super Mud in the vision cheerful. or was it Rhyme? No, it was Rhyme. Yeah, but Mud joins shortly afterwards. Super cheerful character to join the party after you lost two major members. <laughs> yep. Yep. But Mud makes it feel so real, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I Mud think I was like... so pi I think her was so pissed that Mud was introduced yes. after all these losses that I did tidal wave on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I tried to clean so him bad. Me, and you like gave him a panic attack. <laughs> he was like, I hate so this, bad. I hate you. Ah! <laughs> that was my bad. And Look where we all now. Was like, sorry, and smeared more mud on him. <laughs> it was just such a weird, not a weird, it was such a, we were all filled with like, I think our characters like anxiety and like fear because yeah. mm -hmm. we just lost two people and then Cowrie got injected and all this stuff. And then right, Phoebe yeah. was like, here's a present. And we're like, Phoebe, we don't want your present. And, like, <laughs> and here we are. Send it back. Return to sender, please. <laughs> yep. I don't want this. It just screams at me and demands food. <laughs> um, For real. No, I also with the vision too, a, the way in which it was described from the outside of like, we can't grab Cowrie, she's moving without mm -hmm. us being able to stop her. It was just the one minded trackness of Kate, Gab, Nico at the time. Um, I mm -hmm. think it was just the three of you being like, yeah. no more losses, not today. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah, and then uh, sorry, I'm I'm rejoining the watch together. I'm not I'm, I'm not uh, glitching, am I? For y'all, you're, you're lagging pretty bad. Oh, yep. Uh, okay. Yep. I'm lagging on my end as well. Zoom just hates me. I I don't know what it is. Here, here, I I have an idea. Hold on, give me one sec. Mm, okay. Do do a commercial, Wait, commercial a interlude. <laughs> Because I, I just killed a no, bug, and I kind of need to wash my hand, too. <laughs> go ahead. Go, go ahead. I don't know how to cut to the things. Hello. Please get down. <laughs> Hi. Oh. I love that this is all being recorded. Oh, yeah, we can't delete this. <laughs> For yeah, all the I internet know. to see. Ugh. Moss, do a little jingle. Um... We are waiting <laughs> for uh, the watch together to load. Deep -a deep -a doop. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not a singer. <laughs> what, what did you do? I turned off the uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw you guys. I just saw the smooch. That's how bad the delay is. I heard the last <laughs> Evan Drew slowly. <laughs> it's it's fine. What, literally, what fucking ever. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let me let me close some tabs. <laughs> oh, maybe it's the eight hundred tabs you have open. I don't have eight hundred tabs open. <laughs> let me. I'm gonna close the stream. It literally doesn't doesn't fucking matter. Um, Gab's killing a bug. Uh, we'll just beeb. Um, <laughs> that was that was a beautiful. Hey, she's back. I got a new shirt in the mail. I noticed nice. it. It looks good. I like it's it. It's from an artist in Brooklyn who nice. purposes uh, unwanted clothes and puts their art on it. Oh, that's super oh, cool. Yeah. And it's this, Hold on, this one been... is, this one says angels have no gender. <laughs> nice. Oop, I'm going to fuck up the cameras. I'm oh, sorry. No, okay. Do you told me to turn my camera on and off? That kind of fixed it, actually. Yeah? I'm Moss. Maybe it's your camera. <laughs> I'm King. <Miss> <laughs> I mean, it's not mine, it's Drew's. Well, no, I'm Moss again. What is this, like, <laughs> there we go. Right. object game level puzzle of get all the streamers yeah, in the right yeah. window? Whatever, 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 whatever. That didn't happen. Rolling. Those past five minutes didn't happen. Yep. <laughs> yeah, show, show must go on. Anyway, so then, yeah, uh, we went to the, speaking, speaking of no more losses, we went to the Tiger's Eye. That's where we met Yorda's sister, Skylar, who had been stalking us Ooh. for a little bit. And then they disappear. <laughs> yes. And then, and then Nico said we had to leave the game. Uh, and I have told Nico all the secrets about AJ and Yorda. And he said, I uh, I cannot fucking wait. Uh, so I I have thought about some of the most devious fucking... I, 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 like, like, probably this shit's going to make you cry. And I'm very excited about it. Oh, God. And Nico knows all... 
It's time to hold Nico hostage and make sure he tells us everything. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> shake him. I'm gonna shake him down once he gets back from school. What? Well, well, that, and, and that's what you gotta remember. Yorda is the youngest of all of his siblings. He's the least Ooh. powerful. <laughs> so, How many siblings have? Let me. Hmm? I think. I think he has. He has three siblings and a very powerful dad. So okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. How fun. You gotta remember, Skylar is the is the second youngest, and she took out Rahi with a bucket of water and a knife. <laughs> like this, this is the right. level of that's, comp that's situational. That would not have done the same amount of damage to Mud if, if you know. Well, that's the thing. She didn't. She wasn't going after Mud though. It's like clearly mm -hmm. that like the like uh, these people are. It, it's like. It's kind of like how you guys are like a scrappy like biker gang and Yorda's family is like fucking Delta Squad that killed Osama. Like it's just like it's just an <laughs> incomparable <laughs> level. Like Do you know fun fact? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so curious as to where this is going to go. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe I have a fun fact about the killing of, of Osama, Osama bin, bin Laden. Laden. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Go on. Wow me. So, the way it was supposed to start was two helicopters were supposed to land, um, like, either in the compound or just outside of it and go in. But because um, they didn't have perfect info, uh, they thought one place was like a, a, like a, just like a fence, but it turned out to be a wall and it fucked up the like vortex enough that one of the helicopters crashed. <laughs> and so instead of a sneaky little shooting mission, they were just like, we gotta go, we gotta go. And they sped run it. Damn. You're killing Osama Bin Laden 100% speed run. <laughs> Jesus. And then we went to divorce court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, change the subject before we get canceled. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh uh, the killing of Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, that was Very where we saw... That was where we saw Delilah. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and there are other lovely NPCs. Yes, Delilah, yes. What's it like in that chef city? <laughs> yes, um, the... I shouldn't say NPCs. I should say backup characters. A lot of our uh, backup yeah, characters. Yeah, fight in the Moonlight. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Kate, want to talk about Fight in the Moonlight? Yeah, sure. Drew did a very nice thing uh, in Divorce Court uh, where uh, Rahi had to pick her team because she had no friends at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, all of our backup characters, uh, who I ran in a uh, two-shot uh, battle royale uh, campaign, uh, all got to come back, and uh, we got to fight them. Uh, I think was Higgy there? No, he was not there. No, right? Yeah. So save for Higgy, I think. No, the, right, because, right, and then Cass wasn't there either. So, yeah, save for Rhyme and Cowrie, everyone else got to fight their backup characters. Yep. No, was Jet there? I don't think Jet was there. Jet was at the Battle, was battle of the Bards. He was at the Battle of the Bards, right. So, right, it was it was Rahi, Bean, Delilah, the Duke? The, du yeah, the Duke was... did switch. Right, yeah, the, you guys the, booed him. The, the, du yeah. the, the Duke was her only friend at the time. Yes. And yes, jet. that no. that's why I walked those like five miles to try and get the Duke to. And then I tried right, to fight yeah. Duke. Yeah, we fought Jet and Lurjo during the Battle of the Bards. Yeah. You didn't even yes. fight him. You guys convinced them to fight on your yeah. behalf. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Which they will yeah, be changing the rules of going forward. They're like, all right, no, you cannot make alliances. <laughs> that shit was over in thirty-five seconds. <laughs> like, <laughs> were you great. not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> The bad next battle of Bards will be them being like, so the prize money is the prize money, and we are giving them just a regular weapon. Just listen. <laughs> that is the last time. We are never giving away objects from ancient families again. We are <laughs> we are putting this shit in a museum. We are like, gonna get the new ones in a museum. Simpleton. Because the last one got blasted into the stratosphere, the new ruler of Simpleton has to review all the new, we all the prize <laughs> weapons to make sure they will not destroy our city. Do you think Yasa went to Lantis afterwards and went, "You're hosting next month"? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Have they uh, always happened in um Live and Lean? Up have, yes. Live and Lean. Up have. Yeah, uh, they've always happened in uh, have just because like it's the main central, like, it's where all of the other districts converge, so it just makes sense to like, have everybody come from their own spots. Um, but Yasa is taking a sabbatical. Yasa's like, I, <laughs> when I get my hands on that seal bitch, I'm gonna like, <laughs> <laughs> like to see you try. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then, uh, so then after divorce courts, um, Ophia, Triple S, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Tior, yes. And Bacon for Gold. Bacon for Gold. <laughs> bacon for Gold. <laughs> the Bagman, our bestest friend. So good. We gotta start pulling more enemies into the, into the Bagman. I feel like people would stop fucking with us if we just <laughs> use the Bagman in combat. You don't understand, Carl. You don't understand. <laughs> Jimothy was our best fighter, and then they put a purple bag <laughs> over his head and then pull back, and his head was gone. Can we put Slash Claw in the in the bag of holding? No, we can't. Can we? Mud needs to kill him. Can we put Mud Slash Claw in, with, and like the Bagman and Slash Claw can be friends. <laughs> No, Mud will be like, I have spent the last who knows how long of my life getting back to this point so I could confront my villain. And you just shoved him in a bag and now he's gone forever. You can I get in. We'll pull you back out. <laughs> Whoever wins. Do you think pull. It's, the it's ruined. Man. The moment's ruined. It's ruined. Is the bag man <laughs> capable of killing people? Yes. A million, Does he yes. in his own oh, pocket yeah. dimension where he has complete control over everything? Yes. Because isn't it... Oh, yeah, I think you said that if we don't give him things, he'll come and, like... Grab us. Grab yeah. us? Yeah. Ca yeah, that's the deal him and Cowrie have. Cowrie is the Thank perfect... God we have 90 pieces of underwear. <laughs> exactly. You yes. guys have bought yourselves three months of Bagman protection. Oh, and then we'll just start getting grains of sand. I, I, think, I think the Bagman is getting to the point where he's like, well... I think they're just my friends now. <laughs> like, I don't, like, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah. Um, so, so Drew, I know we've we've said many times before. Twenty five episodes in the arbor. I, I, you keep saying we milked it for all it's worth. Was there anything we missed? Um, no. Or any no. any cut content that you want to share? Ah. Uh... The only flub that I fucked up is that I didn't include the all hearer uh, with the Battle of the Bards. I wish I would have made it the all hearer instead of like Iggy announcing things. I would prefer it was the all hearer. Uh, besides that, you guys okay. really did everything that I like expected you to do. Like I had like little capitals of, of each district. That that like something like there was uh, Dr. Mori Rack's uh, testing site. Uh, there was um, the mm. whole stuff armory. There was that. Uh, there was Gilligan. Yeah, well, Gilligan and... with the Aquastruct. That was didn't already we really known. not go into the one district. Capshore. Yes, yeah, so you guys did not go to Capshore. Capshore uh, was a district that was made. Uh, to be retired pirate captains, uh, it's like the powder boys oh. of him, uh, the, the powder boys of Igantoris, where if they did a good enough job and like and like made enough money to like retire, um, Igantoris would invite them to beach their ships and convert them into homes, uh, and so they'd be living relics of like the incredible past adventures and adventurers of like what you can strive for with a life of adventure and chaos. How would you beat your ship if um, Uphav is in the like? Because it's like capture and then Uphav, right? And yeah. Then the then then Altim, right? Yeah. Oh, you just sail to the other side. You just sail to the other side. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, the uh, Capshore yeah. uh, was the only district that had water access. Uh, b besides, uh, like water access that wasn't connected to Ancraft, so. Got it. So it had its own kind of ports. Yeah, like very minimal though, where it's like, it, well, and, and the, the I, I think the most metal fucking description that I wrote for the Arbor was for Igantouris's, um his 
building. Like, I for what the fuck did I call? I actually need to find oh, this. Hold on. We never met. Did we ever meet Iggy? Yeah. You did? Uh, yeah. My we we saw him at the Battle of the Bards, but yeah, yeah, there was we had the chance to meet him 101 if we got if we won a certain amount of competitions yeah. during yeah, the I full moon we festival. We, we, we got around we, too much. We got one, and then we went back, and Ophia was waiting for us at my house. Oh, yeah. And we were like, hey. And then we were like, I got to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are we missing the most important part of the arbor, which was the telling of T or telling us that, like, oh, there's magical weapons? Oh, yeah. And then the reveal of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much setting up the rest of the game. Not the yeah. rest of the game, but at least the next arc of the game the for main, us. So. I guess the main quest you can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just love yeah. that like it was so lovingly designed by Drew like each weapon carefully tailored to each of our characters and then half a character left three of us we, when we started as a very strong six and half the group was like either I can't play regularly or this asshole was like I'm playing I want to play something different yeah. <laughs> well, and, like, well, that's what I'm excited for because like it, it feels a lot better because look, like, I love you guys and I love the work you put into these guys and it wasn't like any of you went Went, I hate who I'm playing right now and I never want to see them again. It was just like, I want to try something new or I just can't make it work. It wasn't like a, I'm taking the sweatshirt back after the breakup kind of thing. <laughs> and so it feels to really left, good to... to yeah, and so it feels really good to be like, they're still a part of the world, they're still important, they're just not the focus anymore. And I, I like that's, it's a lot more um, fun for me to work with. I just, I really like the, I really like the idea, at least for me, the way I'm playing it. I'm really, really interested in this idea of Mud being surrounded by a bunch of chosen ones, but not being a chosen one. And just like, I just think that's fucking fascinating. Yeah. You know, I just think that's a really interesting, like, I think he's, and he's, he's like, he's got a lot on his plate already. If you made him a chosen one, he'd be like, oh, I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. This is too much to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, I like the, I like the idea. I'm gonna throw up. I like the idea of, um, like, and I think, like, all, like, and not in the way of, like they're two dimensional or anything like that. But like Olive and her, especially, are such chosen ones. If that makes sense, like they are. Like it's such. It, like it, it just it's it's this beautiful sheen that's on top of their already amazing characters, but it's and then you've got this little drowned rat next to you. So yeah, I uh I I get mad sometimes and my body changes. I eat <laughs> I eat banana peels. <laughs> I just... It makes me feel I chew on this on this orange peel because it helps me calm down, and so I just. I just, you know, he wouldn't be such a hilariously wretched little guy if he didn't have these, like, incredible bastions of, like, heroic or, or yeah. adventuring spirits to, like, contrast to. And yeah. so it's it's just so cool. <laughs> oh, and real quick before I forget, the, the description for the main and only building of Capture, which I wish I could have included, but again, there was just too much already. It was 25 episodes. Um, but uh, it, Capture has one main building and one main building alone, the Horde. The Horde is not a mere bank. The Horde is a prison for gold, which I fought, which I was like, that's metal as fuck. Because it's like a drag Dragon's horde of like, because obviously it's Egan Doris. He fucking has, he like gets, he gets the mm -hmm. lion chair and shit. Uh, and like, we could have had a whole fucking like bank heist to you guys to go in there and get all the money that you could ever possibly uh, need. Damn, why oh. didn't her know That's this? the bill and gold. A bounty. There, there probably is a bill and gold in the horde. It is. <laughs> Damn, nobody tell Carrie. They'll be devastated. <laughs> it's fine. We're just going to go to the Shiver Gang and we're going to get there. Right, gold. yeah. We'll, we'll do a B&E there. <laughs> we're just doing casual B&E. Casual. You casual guys will B &E. never be able to fish again. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're just going to kill them off. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't worry about it.
Their days are numbered. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's like, has they're, anybody they're totally here not. Seen, has anybody here seen Nine Rose? Yeah, he died in a botched B and E turned murder. So yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> there was an armed robbery at his house. He, he wasn't. <laughs> the he the it, sheriff you know. of the fist is like putting up like a cork board and is like connecting <laughs> red yarn and he's like, I'm gonna get these bandits if it's the last thing I should do. Give them some of that Winchester justice. We call them the underhand Rams. Sackers, <laughs> the underhand they, sack, the ball tappers, if you will. <laughs> they've been, they've been breaking and entering all manner of houses. They've broken into a hundred houses and have killed eighteen people. All I gotta learn is where are they going next? And you guys are right behind him with a gun to the back of his head. <laughs> you can't predict. exactly the actions of a madman <laughs> <laughs> okay but uh so yes we yeah got, yeah so it's okay yeah um yeah no i was just gonna say uh speaking of leaving the arbor i think the last thing i'll i'll pose to everybody uh is uh you know we have the battle of the bards uh escape the arbor all that great stuff uh what's what's the mindset of everyone's uh pcs as we were leaving the arbor and uh you know motivations going forward anyone feel free to jump in Jump in! Jump in! <laughs> oh fuck! Ah oh, damn! <laughs> damn! No! <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, I think kind of what Gal was talking about with uh, her motivations about how the arbor is very tied into her past, and like now it's leaving it, it's like who who am I gonna be? I think it's kind of the same for Olive, where uh well she well she's not so tied to the arbor as her was um it is something that reflects her past um and in a sense because of that it was tying her down and so i think leaving the arbor gave her is giving her like a second chance uh to be who she wants to be without having to worry about the weight of her family and responsibilities to them holding her back um because i remember um uh yeah because coral did coral leave with us or yes coral yes left yeah, with us but Cor is that yeah. the grip right Grip-isle. yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, i remember because i um i was like oh like yeah it'd be great to have like like coral with us I, it'd be great for all of to have that and, but i was thinking about it, I was like uh no, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta stay. He's gotta stay. I'm glad he came with us uh, through the escape. But like, think about it, like, no, I get, I gotta be, I gotta be me, man. You can't. You, uh, I love you. I appreciate you being like the nice person in my family. Uh, but oh, give me, nah, you gotta go. Um, and hey, who knows? I don't know if any of us can even go back to the arbor because we're wanted now <laughs> there's a big old bounty yeah. on us uh but which you know um yeah so i think uh all of leaving the arbor is very coming of age-esque where she's discovering like who she is outside because she's because her family is very well known in the arbor uh so it, she wants to discover who she is outside of that uh influence and that weight um yeah, and you know we're seeing little little bit bits of it, but she also wants to learn about what it's like to be a leader, about how, what it's like to be a captain. Hell yeah! Yeah, you go. You got this, Moss. Well, uh, just on a note of that, I think it's really you know because it's <clears throat> the trope of like. I didn't choose this life. This life chose me. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at me. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> um, no, but this idea of like, I didn't choose this life. Like this responsibility is thrust upon me and I, I must fill the shoes I find myself in is, is, is a good, it's a good trope. It has a lot of uh, potential in it, but I think it's super interesting at least from where Olive started, for her to be like, no, I want this responsibility. I want this power. I want, I want this role. You know, and so I just mm -hmm. think that's, I just think that's really interesting. So well, thank you. Yeah. 
Uh, Drew, I'm trying my darndest to put the look at me clip in the in the watch together so we can pull it up on the meme on it. <laughs> screen, but I can't. Hi. It's <laughs> it's taking me a little bit. On it, you're good. I got it. You got it. Okay. Quick, quick uh, interlude with a meme. Yeah, Moss and Gab yeah, rock paper scissors for who talks next about PC motivations. No, 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 no. We can't. Said, no. No. Rock paper scissors. I said rock paper scissors. Okay, rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Wait, don't. God. <laughs> oh. Also, it's so funny, Gab, because on my screen, you have like a full three <laughs> seconds like extra nice time. <laughs> oh, no. I just started shaking my hands early, and then you said three, two, one, so I just kept shaking my hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Turn it up. Turn it up. Do you smell that? I am... It's not good for you. I'm 90% sure that's just graffiti spray paint. <laughs> that's good. That looks real good. Yeah? That looks real good. Yeah, mine looks kind of wet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. My bad. This is taking years off our lives. I'd say open a window, but there are no windows in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's caking up around your chin. It's giving a real different kind of look now. <laughs> Have you witnessed me? <laughs> <laughs> Here, man. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, excellent. Sorry, I was being quiet because I didn't want to talk over it. <laughs> you were all good. Gab, you're okay. next. Okay, back yes, to work. Gab lost the rock, paper, scissors. Oh, girl. Such as our ways. <laughs> Gritty. So what is hers Gritty. vibe coming out of the arbor? Um, hi. See, the thing is, it's like going out of the arbor. I think it was more so stress. Like, it was a lot of stress leaving the arbor, leading up to the, like, the entire arbor arc in general was fun, but like very stressful. And then leaving was very stressful. So, like, her was very stressed coming out of that situation. And you, you could see that with like the Kenneth Ward breakdown and like stuff like that. Um, and even in the, in the, uh, the, yeah, the, the, carpool, the, the carpool tunnels, here. yes. The carpool tunnels, too, where she tells Hammer, I love you, and it's like, no, <laughs> why'd you say that? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think, like, that was, like, the main plot, uh, like, main point. Like, she was stressed. And I think now, like, after the band dial and everything, like, well, we're going to talk about this later, but um, she's going to really try and figure out, because, like, her is really only goal at in the arbor was who am i what am i doing like what happened um and i think now it's more so developing long-term goals of like what am i going to do after this campaign like what am i going to do after mm. we give him beat this like quest like what are what do i want um so trying to figure out stuff like that um <sighs> we're not like i heard obviously was pirating but like doesn't really have any real pirate experience that she remembers so it's just like you know trying to figure out who she is let going of the past a little bit will there be some flirting still between her and rahi or attempted flirting of course but um i think it's more so gonna be like we'll see more companionship trying to like progress in a yeah. positive trajectory but like yeah more so trying to find long-term goals trying to get over the past and figure out who she is going to be going forward. I think what I'm most excited for, God, I think I think you hit the nail on the head. Where like as a general concept, the arbor really was all of you having to react to things that I was throwing at you. Where the rest mm -hmm. of the world is going to be you guys basically putting me on my ass and going, "Here's where we're going. Here's the plan." Come at us, motherfucker! We got this. <laughs> um, and I'm so I'm excited to, to see you guys make uh, to have a more proactive role in the stories going forward. 
Likewise. Yeah. Nice. So Moss. I, just, I yeah. loved hers total like in the tunnels, just like freaking the fuck out. And then like Phoebe being like super suave and super like well, well, well. And you're just like, we can't get <laughs> we <laughs> yeah. I can't do it anymore. And Phoebe being like, okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, Stop. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know how in the, like the timeline of how Drew thinks of it, but like when we were playing it, it almost seemed like it was just like back to back, like almost days. Things just yeah. kept happening and kept yep. happening yeah. and kept happening. And it was just like, such like a downward spiral you know like obviously i don't think any of us wanted to leave the arbor the way it was and you know so mm -hmm. it's yeah just, yeah stress it's yeah it's just so it's just i love her i love her character i love the fucking wild shit she does because you know you get characters who like players will be like oh they're wild they're crazy like they'll keep you on your toes and you're like okay but like the character doesn't actually like like the meat of who they are doesn't actually like support that kind of behavior and her is such a like it's it's so well like this is a woman who to a shark man that she got killed goes i love you in the midst of a battle is absolutely like like I, like we have a wild magic sorcerer but her personality is a wild magic source. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's just, she's so fucking batshit crazy. And in a way- We that, love her. That is just, you've somehow made a character that can yes and anything and still be like a fully fleshed out person. <laughs> I I just think it feels like, I, I, I think more than just like batshit crazy, I think it just really plays like, imagine if you were an amnesiac and you had to react mm -hmm. to all this stuff. Like, you know, it, like it, it's like a hammerhead shark going, I'm going to kill you before I die. Like, like we all think that we'd be like, oh yeah? Well, you'll get to hell before me. No, you fucking would not say that. <laughs> you would probably freak out, have some anxiety, and say some weird I shit lie. like, "Yeah, exa <laughs> exactly." And so, like, I don't see it as like a complete chaos gremlin. I see it more as just like her is the straight man <laughs> of all of these <laughs> insane yeah. people. Oh uh, That's but it. Because yeah. it's this nature of this world. Her, the straight man, is also the one who does. Do anything. Yeah, know, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so but good. But very excited to take this like stress that she's been doing in all these reactive things and trying to be more proactive going forward. So yes. very excited. Very you guys excited. are gonna go on the offensive because now it's because 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 again now the idea is we know where the we know where the leads of the weapons are and we know there are enemies we have to kill to get them. There is no reason that we should be on the back foot. Let's go and take some motherfuckers out. So mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what's Mud's thoughts? Talk about Mud. Talk about Mud. Ah. Dirt and Water oh. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mud, the arbor is not really where. So, the arbor in itself is not really where Mud started to. You know, I don't know. I'm try. I'm like, the thing with him is that he does not open easily. You know, he mm -hmm. he is not. Like, you know all of his secrets now and all that stuff, but it's still, like, he's very much my character of, like, you know all my backstory. I'm not better now. I'm not fixed. Um, but I, I... And, you know, like, this is maybe just the, the reveal of him being, like, uh, a hollow one is something that, like... I, I feel like I worry I may be shoehorned in a little bit too much at the end, but also the way in which we fight, it's so very rare, at least for the Arbor, for us to get like to death level to like risk that. And so I was like, it's either this or we have another 80 episodes until we get to the fist and then it's revealed. And so I really like the idea of him walking around with this giant hole in his chest and being like, uh, what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. Mud is, Mud is hard to pin down. He is. Yeah. I think I've told 
drew this before he's still it's hard for it's hard for him to talk about like character growth from his perspective because he's still very much of the mind of like if i think of myself as a person it'll make my job harder you yeah know? Mm-hmm. and so uh mud is still somewhat actively fighting this idea of like like he's like i can't think of this as a second chance at life this is just for revenge because that's mm-hmm. all i have and it's all i can do mm-hmm. and so i don't know He's, he's working on it well and that's why i'm know. so excited to talk about like, like for the next time we do this where we talk about like the finger aisles and like what you guys do on the grip aisle and the uh, the band aisle because I, at least for me because like, I, I would agree with you in the way where it's like the arbor mud was stagnant for a very good reason because that is not the environment in which mud could begin the process of maybe not even healing just like accepting what happened but like you know yeah. conversations with carpet and with the, and becoming the second rung of the shiver gang and um end of tales and like like the selkie individuals like all of that like this like like those are the environments in which healing could happen or acceptance could happen because yeah. I, I the reason the way i was playing mud the whole time in the arbor was him being like i need to get strong enough so i can go kill slash claw and that is all my life's purpose is that is all i am meant for i was brought back for this one reason this one reason alone because if i wasn't brought back for this reason and the reason is this nebulous fucking answer i'm gonna lose my fucking mind because it's unfair it's unfair that i was brought back and people i care about Mm -hmm. didn't get brought back you know and so Mm -hmm. Like he's in the way that it's super hyper irrational, but it's the only he's it's the only rational mm-hmm. thing in his brain F- for the entire thing of the arbor. And now it's shifting as we move out of it. Um, a the arbor is way too overstimulating for mud. It's oh way yeah, too overcrowded. It's like there's just too many people at any given moment for him to ever feel truly safe. And B um, mud is mud was very much of like. I have made sense of my insane place in life right now, and this is the only thing keeping me going. And so, yeah, yeah. Anyways, no. Yeah. Get ready to get get ready to get proved wrong, boy. <laughs> well, I think and that Rahi will, you before you randomly just die. I think Rahi would kill you first if you're like I'm not a human. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's, She's, she think, she just allowed she she's not allowing you to die. Yep. It's, yeah. She banned you from dying, so yeah. you just can't do that. But Drew and I were talking about this um, before the ro- relationship between Mud and Rahi like formed. Drew and I were talking about this, and like Drew was, and this is when Mud was much more of like a temporary character. But it was the idea of like you get to know this guy, you get to know his story. If Tangle Root goes bad, if it goes really really bad, it would be Mud saying get on the ship run and as you're running away drew like do you remember talking about this yes somehow? yes i do i'll let you do it because you said it so much better than so I the the idea so and like, and like mud cl- and, and like so this isn't it's becoming less and less of a possibility the more mud develops into not just a tool for revenge but a person who is broken and people who are broken can be repaired uh but the idea that we had was like because again out of arbor hypothetically if you guys went right to tangle root a potential end for mud would have been like the, the the idea of the angrier the closer that mud would get to slash claw or the more furious mud would become or the more damaged he would get the more monstrous like his broken wild shape would make him look mm. to the point where like at the end of the fight slash claw is dead but mud has been damaged to the point where he's almost unrecognizable as a human and looks like an amalgamation of like predatory animals and he he, like and in that in that case hypothetically speaking mud would die like there's no chance that he'd be able to heal from it and even keep going because again slash claw is dead and it would be the idea of get to the ship go i'm gonna buy you time and moss and i talked about the scene of you guys like running like in like the like n- like waist high water like tripping over the roots getting through the swamps back to the exterminator and you guys hear uh, like gunfire and screams as mud like holds off like slavers coming to get you, and then all of a sudden the gunfire stops, and you know what happened. 
Um, and that would be like a, be a potential end for Mud because like that yeah. that'd be how his story would end. And then next session, Ryan would be like, "Hey guys, how are yeah, we doing?" Just, <laughs> <back in. laughs> the, way, the way you said it, Drew, like slowly the animal noises would get quieter and quieter until they would stop altogether, and it'd just be silent yep. behind you guys. And, and then, then you were like. And then, like, somehow, Drew said this of, like, and, like, Rocky, if you were friends with her, like, wouldn't let you do that. Absolutely like, not. Oh, there's the lifeline. There's Mud's lifeline. Yeah. There's his whole, like, being saved thing. Like, that's, there you go. You know, like, oh, he can't die now. He's incredibly precious to me. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, so. like, oh, no, well, what's up, Gab? What's up? Yeah, Gab, you were going to say something. Oh, I was just going to say, if Ryan randomly popped back in our lives, there's no way I'm trusting that motherfucker. I'm telling you right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's like, Ryan, you were out there freezing elephants in blocks of ice and stealing artifacts. What the fuck were you doing? Seinfeld theme. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's also canonical. Mud can track you guys wherever you are. Rhyme. Rhyme. Rhyme? Rhyme? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> She's that way. Streams. Olive's here. I was like, hello. <laughs> Mo's got our sense. I can track you anywhere as long as I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there. There. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but, uh, but, wait, Gab, did you mention the thing that you wanted to mention? Yeah, that was it. Okay, yeah, right. about not trusting Rhyme. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Okay. Well, because now, like, thinking about um, Rahi and the Duke coming out of it, the Duke is going to mm -hmm. get more focus going forward because I feel like the Duke, uh, wonderful character that everyone has a lot of fun with, he feels underbaked to me. Uh, he feels like more of an Alato mm -hmm. character than a Paul Lewis character. I'm excited to explore him a little bit more. Rahi has never had this many friends before, uh, <laughs> so she is a little bit overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and you know, uh, everybody's kind of like getting the uh, Rahi and uh, her and Mud and Olive and Kauri all being back together. Um, Rahi's got some feelings that she needs to explore, uh, which, um, you know, she, there, which again, a uh, moral question of like, uh, I want to pose to Gab at some point, which I'll uh, like, it's going to be more complex going forward, but like, is Rahi, could Rahi even fall in love with her or would Rahi fall in love with the idea of Charlotte? You know what the I mean? The idea of her. Yeah. The idea of her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get the bongos out. We're gonna write a spoken word poem right now. <laughs> and like, and like, of course, not saying that it has to go anyway. Is if her wants to become like, like you know, forge something new, is that something new? Something that Rahi can love. Uh, however, Rahi might love. So I'm very excited to explore that. I wanna know if she really, really loves, loves me. me. Hey, we already we got from enemies to friends. Yes. All right, we're on the right track. You guys have hugged. So yes, we are on track to a hundred percent achievement rate <laughs> yes i am well i think the other thing to pose is like which we didn't really talk about is like the relationship between darby uh darby's character and kate's character um <sighs> becoming closer and what that, that is that is be. that is for next time that is for Very next time so. We so, talked about it a little bit last time, but yes, we'll talk about it more when Darby's here. Yes. Yeah, because the la I was just going to say you post that thing about Rahi, but it's like we didn't even touch on Kate and Darby's we character. We did not, yeah. Like, Rahi yeah. might have no chance there. <laughs> Once we do a uh, rule, rule book, wait, Rahi has no chance where? Well, Rahi had a crush Oh, on yeah, Calorie. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I'm gonna be honest. I in Rahi's mind because Rahi embodies a lot of like tux. Like okay. This, I'm gonna get a little bit tangential here. R Rahi has toxic traits because all of the negative emotions that you should be able to control are all of the emotions that she can only express. Mm. And so, like, after you break up with somebody, this I, again, d cancel me if you want. I don't think the most appropriate thing to do emotionally is to go on a several month long bender where you drink yourself in a coma and sleep with every person you see. That's probably not the healthiest thing or the smartest thing or the best way of healing. But again, Rahi doesn't have any way of controlling it. So it's like, it's always anger motivating her decisions. And so Rahi's motivation towards saying that to Kauri was to piss off off her by trying to reach in and kind of like make oh. Charlotte jealous. That was her intention. No. So oh, I thought I thought Rocky uh, had a little crush on Cowrie. Well, here's my argument is is that usually 
I I'm gonna give it a cool name. It's, I'll call it. Let's colloquially call it the cleric effect. If you are the happy, cheerful, loving character, the one cheerful, loving character, helper character in a group of grizzled, broken people, you un I, it's almost a hundred percent guarantee one of them's gonna fall in love with you. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> Let just look at Jester from Critical Role Campaign Two. Mm -hmm. Three people, <laughs> three pe three of the other characters. At one point, like she goes, "Is everybody like secretly in love with me or something?" And you see three of her friends just go <laughs> start to sweat <laughs> a little bit. And it's listen, I'm working on it with Hathor. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get wax in this polycule. It's gonna work out. <laughs> Hathor being like, but, you're gonna fall in love with me. <laughs> just, you're gonna look so okay. stupid when it happens. <laughs> it's just, okay. You got, yes, chef. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yes, chef. And Kauri is such a bundle of joy. Such literally yeah. a shiny, mm -hmm. bright glowing point in a circle of let's say recovering depressed yeah. people <laughs> yes. yeah yeah and so you know there's maybe we could say several of us don't feel worthy of love you know um mm -hmm. yeah rocky may have been trying to yeah. make uh her her jealous but she may have made someone else jealous oh <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, and, and, that, and that's one thing I'm excited to do going forward. I want to see um, more interactions between NPCs and PCs that haven't like talked a lot. Like I like I want to I want a whole thing about like uh, Rahi and Olive's relationship. Like I would love to see like Cowrie and the Duke start to get along a little bit more. Um, oh, I want Olive and Rahi to talk sometime soon. Don't well, I don't worry. know what that means, but I'm very excited. Olive being like, and one more thing. If you ever flirt with my partner again. <laughs> <laughs> my partner um, who's not my partner. <laughs> <laughs> my crush. <laughs> the watery hell on which I will rain, literally rain down upon you. <laughs> you you guys hear it. Yeah, guys... there's, there's other things that Olive and Rahi should probably talk about. If if that ever happened, you off screen, it. like let's say we're, we're like the Duke is like, well yes, I clean my sword regularly. You guys would hear a, whoosh, and then it would be Olive walking in like, she not on my heat. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> <laughs> it so hard. I just <laughs> there's a small explosion <laughs> under the deck. <laughs> it rocks the boat. Uppercuts you so hard that your head <laughs> sticks out of the main deck of the ship like a whack-a-mole. Just like, one second, cast light, surges, <laughs> explodes. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so good. And, and, and. Well, yes. there's some healing spells. It'll be okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. And we got so much to talk about next time. We got to talk about End of Tales. We got to talk about Kenneth Ward. We got to talk the about Carpal all the Carpal Tunnels. The Carpal Tunnels, all the development of all the PCs across two of the Finger Isles. I'm very, very excited for that. And Ongo. And Ongo. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Weird oh science. my gosh. Everybody is done. so afraid of him for some reason. Not me. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm not, I'm afraid. not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I think that's called. <laughs> that's called the cut. Cut. So we if you go want to look up some fun facts about the death of Osama bin Laden, watch <laughs> this stream the whole way through. The whole way is through. That, is that our clickbait on the video? Fun facts about the murders. I'm doing the fucking like Wojak I, face, like Osama bin Laden. The way in which we would get our whole channel would get absolutely blacklisted forever A on million. YouTube. <laughs> the Osama potion, <laughs> just fucking <laughs> from the dark. Web. From the dark web. If you drink this potion at 3 a.m., you can talk to Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh God! Well, oh, before we get blacklisted, I think that's every, I think it's everything, <laughs> uh, guys. Yes. You put fun facts that will get us blacklisted. That'd be you a great fucking yes. title. All right, everybody. I uh, hope you had a fun time hanging out. Thank you so much for coming to the table. Yeah. I'll be catching you on the next one. Catch you, uh, yeah. Catch you later. Peace Wednesday. Out, guys. Yeah, catch, catch you Wednesday. Ca- catch you Wednesday. Wednesday Tune in the first. Ah. Uh, continuing. Uh, we will catch you later. Peace out, guys. Shaka bra. Shaka bra.